welcome back to the channel if you're first time hopefully you stick around but today i'm headed from lawley to uh, the weekend on my bike for those of you that don't know the weekend is quite a landmark of shropshire and top of the weekend it's a nice hill it's not going to be that nice cycling up it but coming down will be really nice but it's just coming into view over there the sky's looking quite good today um, but yeah goal is to cycle over to the top of the Reekin for some lunch and then cycle back home Actually, the mud isn't too bad. It's doable. But uh, quick word about my bike. Just put it there a second. Uh, it's not an expensive bike. Uh, Carrera Vengeance. I think it was about 300 quid from Halfords uh, last year. But. The biggest thing I've done to this bike is change the tyres. The tyres that came with it were shockingly bad. But these are Continental Trail Kings and they just make so much difference. You know, you don't have to have the most expensive bike to get out and enjoy yourself. As much as I'd love a, a bike that cost a few grand, I just can't really afford it. Um, but this bike does everything I need it. Would be nice to have an e-bike. Um, but yeah, I love this bike. Any bike that gets you to places is a good bike. Um, and you know, the skills I gain on this one, when I get my next bike, uh, you know, more sort of all-terrain, downhill sort of mountain bike, when I'm coming down the hills and stuff, it'll be easier because it's pretty scary coming down the reeking on this thing, but you know, that's where you get your enjoyment from. Uh, and it's just cutting through all this mud. The old tyres would not have done any of this. Oh. a fork now so I can go that way which takes me towards the Reekin that way which takes me over towards um, Little Wenlock and that way which takes me sort of towards um, back towards Lawley and Horsey and that sort of area but today I'm headed over there so let's get it Oh, I think I'm going to get a bit wet down here. Thank you. knew it I'm not like some of these pros uh, I try and wipe off the lens while I'm going but I need both hands both hands on the uh, on the handlebars the 
other side of the road now. Let's see what this is like. Very deep, thick mud. Go on, you can do it. You can do it, Carrera. <sighs> Towel, but I'm a bit sweaty. Uh, just past halfway house, which isn't really halfway because you've got all the steep bits to come. But it's just part of it. You know, if you can't cycle up it, push up it until you can cycle up it. Get yourself fitter. I know my fitness has lacked in lockdown the same as everyone so just keep going but I'll uh, update you when I'm a bit closer to the top Ooh. so I'm about three quarters of the way up now very sweaty pushed it nearly all the way up and I'll continue to push it up I'm not fit enough not back to fitness yet but enjoying it and I'll enjoy coming down but I thought I'd show you some of the history of the Reekin so about 2000 2500 years ago this is what it would have looked like an old hill fort we've got Hellgate down here and then Heavengate I think I'm at Heavengate I'm probably at Hellgate though but yeah onwards and upwards Oh, so close to the top now. There's not much, not much, not many trees on top. So I think I'll do. Always got my uh, trusty hammock with me. Set my hammock up in here and have a nice break. Oh. These two trees look perfect. I might go a bit further down, away from the path. Uh, for those of you who'd like to know, I'm using a Husk Hammock. Uh, I think it's a double. It's so small. It's perfect for taking on your bike or, you know, walking. It's just so small in your rucksack, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, between these two trees, I think. So this is my hammock. Husk hammock. Super small. The slings used to be in it, but I lost one, so I bought these. And they, you know, don't take up any size at all. So I've got that and that for my sort of biking, day walking hammock set up. And I'm going to set it up there and there. So it's lunchtime now in the hammock, all set up, nice and cosy. Um, ham sandwiches. Probably don't want to watch me eat, but nice youth in the hammock.
which way. This looks so different to last time. My backpack keeps hitting the trees. Ones that are leaning in. It's really nice to do this lightweight. No pack on. It's a good workout on you and your hands, wrists and forearms. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Like I said, I'm not that experienced trail riding. Tons of experience on the road. But not much. Go down stuff like this. Oh. Oh. oh, probably should have gone the other way. One more speed. I'm not ready for that yet. Let's go. So far over the back of my saddle. What the hell? Oh. Oh. Almost. Almost. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's try and get down this bit. Oh. Give me a second. That's was. Be super steep around this corner. <sighs> okay. What's next?
Thank you, bike. I'm so glad I got those tires on there. Let's see where this goes. Oh, that was a nice bit, that was. <sighs> My hands. Oh. Whew. Slipping all over the place. Seriously, I need to get back into shape. that noise these tires are a bit too wide for my frame and it kind of brushes against the derailleur so I'm struggling up the hills oh, can't get into my lowest gear oh do I want to do that oh, oh. yes If you know what trial I've just done, please let me know in the comments. Uh, oh, I'm glad I came out there. Now I can cut through there and head straight back up the way I came. Oh, catch you in a bit. So I was just praising my tires big time and I've just got to the bottom. Brilliant ride. And my tires are brilliant. They're completely flat. Oh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push it up here. Sorry about the car noise behind me. I'm going to push it up here, find a nice spot to change my inner tube because 
I don't fancy doing it here. And I'm probably going to push it up there anyway, so I'm just going to push it up, find a nice viewpoint, and sort that out. Oh. A nice little spot. Took my wheel off. I'm going to sort this out now. Hands are going to get filthy. Uh, you know what happens next, but punctures. Don't really like them, but sometimes I look back on those rides where I had punctures or I remember them a bit more. So, not too fussed. Take a bit extra time. Catch you in a bit when it's fixed. So the bike is all fixed. Hopefully. Not the PSI I would have hoped for, but those little hand pumps. Ridiculous. So yeah. If you haven't already seen it, watch the last video. Me and Zoe went to walk up the Rikim. And if you haven't seen the one before that, watch me and uh, my mates celebrate my 40th birthday um, with a little wild camp. But I'm one handed, uh, go down a hill, so I should probably go that way. But yeah.